and we make our way to a new planet, Rith Essa. This planet takes place up in the bluffs, so you can imagine there's going to be a lot of uh, thin ledges that you can very easily fall off of. The planet itself is beautiful. They did a very nice job on the color scheme here. And it's a nice touch after being in like completely blue areas. Uh, blue is my favorite color, but even I have my limits. And we're just going to get right into it. Uh, as you saw, there was a machine gun capacity increase right back there at the beginning. Um, and there's also some uh, new weapons for lupus. Not new weapons in general, because I think we have every type of weapon now. It's just that all the characters have all of them. And we'll grab this. This is for the pistol. This is for our health. And in here, we will find the homing missiles. Very welcome addition to our inventory. Grab the money, and head on out. Uh, let's see. Jump back over here. I don't believe Juno or Vela can make it across that. Unless they ha I don't think they come with uh, jet fuel. I can't remember. Uh, we can't get those tribals right now, so they're stuck here. We can come back and get them later. First thing you want to do here is go to your right, and you'll find a capacity increase for your shotgun. Uh, this is ammo, I believe. Yes, it is. Now, most of the, uh, uh, the, the drones in this section, they don't have shields. They will in the next section of Rebecca. And I have to thank Lancoon again for more advice. I did experiment with the shocker. And it works amazing on the shield drones. It paralyzes them, and I'll show you as we get to it. It's like a big bug zapper. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Ooh. I haven't been keeping track of how many heads I have, by the way. I have no idea. I might just use the in-game cheats just to show you the bonus features, which I think I may have mentioned that before. Now, be careful when you fall here to get these capacity increases, because if you fall any further out, you're dead. Uh, I apologize in advance for the glitchy horizon here. There's something wrong with the em I don't, you know, the way the emulator is handling this, and it's making parts of the sky disappear. If you play the actual game, it doesn't do that. And there's nothing I can do about that. So I apologize. These are the new enemies in this area. These things. They weave all around, and they're a little hard to hit. The homing rockets work well against them, because odds are they'll be weaving between each other when you shoot it, and it'll take up multiple enemies at once. Get out of here. Oh. And I see a head over here somewhere. And it's gone. Right around the corner, there's going to be three Hercules beetles. Here's one of them. The other two are right around the other part of this corner here. Be careful when you take them out. Oh, I got one of them. I got both of them. Tribal and a capacity increase for my machine gun. Awesome. And I believe this is more ammo. Yes, it is. Uh, I thought there were flying enemies there. Maybe I took them out and didn't realize it. The good thing about the uh, mechanical flying drones, you can hear them from a distance, so you can be ready for them. Uh, oh, there we go. I got it. I got it, got it, got it. Now, 
after these few enemies here, you're going to come across a big batch of these. So make sure you have your homing missiles ready. And fire! Best thing to do is, again, try and take these guys out in groups. If you let them all come out at once like that, they'll just blow you away. Alright, and we're done with this section, and again, we missed those two tribals back at the beginning. Nothing I can do about that right now. Ooh, a new weapon? And we got the Tri-Rockets. I still think it's funny how all he has to do is howl at those uh, chests. Let's go in here. They're loading us up with some nice, powerful weapons. It's almost like there's going to be some sort of boss fight in the near future. But that would be just silly. And we got some cluster bombs. And we got a capacity increase for our health. Watch out for Flopsy. Flopsy will bite you and do some damage to you. This is for no. He is one of those amazing mining mole brothers, whatever. I don't get how you can name like one brother Fishface and the other Fernando. But he wants to trade you for some old artifacts. Uh, and he wants to... I guess he doesn't care about the tribals either. Uh, but we don't have anything for him right now. But we will at some point. And I think we can get the mining key from him, which is for this door over here. We can't go in there right now. But we will later. Uh, okay, we're done with that. Let's head over this way. We don't. We, we don't. Bleh. <laughs> we do not have that blue key, so we cannot go in there. Now let's try that shocker out again. Yeah, just wait. First, let me get rid of this guy. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to come back out. Where is this? See, that is perfect. Come on. He just keeps sneaking around the corner. Oh. Controls are so sensitive in this game. Oh, it doesn't finish him off. Before it, like, completely paralyzed them until they couldn't attack him. Still, it's pretty good at neutralizing them, and then you can follow up with something powerful. It would almost be perfect if they would drop their shield and you zap them, but I guess that would just be too good. Good. Let's go jump up here, grab these, and let's keep moving along. I guess I can't get that. There's some weapon I don't have. There's only a few tribals here. This bridge will cross later. We uh, can't do it right now. It's from a different section of the game. Or it might be from a different, like, I forget if this area circles around. Oh, come on. Well, I can shoot those off that ledge later. Not a big deal. Yeah, I guess it does circle around. That's cool. I don't think I'm going to fit the whole thing in here, though. Ah, oh. Enough with the flying enemies. I'm trying to show off how crappy my accuracy is. A lot of ammo for the tri-rockets around here, but I'm not using them. Tribal. Alright, seriously, I'm mad now. Money, money, money. And tribal. And where's this other room? I think 
thinks he can pull one over on me. Well, no, sir. All right. Well, we're not gonna get much further. There's plenty of stage left. And I think this is where it circles around, but you just have to wait until next time to see where we go from here. And enjoy the outdoor area while you can, because we'll be back in the mines and they're, they're boring. So I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.